etiquette is the way people act and react when they're around people with disabilities. Regretfully, we often find ourselves aloof and distant when it comes to interacting to people with disabilities. Lack of knowledge about how to act can lead to uneasiness when we speak with such people. So in this video of Disability Etiquette 101, I'm going to be sharing a handful of acceptable ways to greet people with special needs. So first, here are some basic points of disability etiquette for greeters before we move on to the more specific points for each disability. First, a smile along with a spoken greeting is always appropriate. A handshake is not a standard greeting for everyone. Second, speak about a person with a disability by first referring to the person and then to the disability. Refer to people who are blind rather than to blind people. Third, it is important you speak directly to a person with a disability, not just to people with him or her. And finally, move to offer assistance only after asking if it is wanted. Many people with disabilities prefer to maintain as much independence as possible. If they want help, Ask for specific instructions. First, if a person uses a wheelchair. First, do not push, lean on, or hold on to a person's wheelchair unless the person asks you to. The wheelchair is a part of his or her personal space. Never patronize people who use wheelchairs by patting them on the head or shoulder. Second, when speaking with a person in a wheelchair or a person who uses crutches, place yourself at eye level in front of the person to facilitate the conversation. Second, if a person has a disability that affects learning, intelligence, or brain function like autism or Down syndrome. First, keep communication simple. Rephrase comments or questions as needed using different words the second or third time to clarify. Second, if necessary, ask short questions that require short answers, a nod, or a shake of the head. Never pretend to understand if you are having difficulty doing so. Instead, repeat what you have understood and allow the person to respond. The response will clue you in and guide your understanding. And finally, stay focused on the person as he or she responds to you. Allow the person time to tell or show you what he or she wants. Third, if a person is deaf or uses hearing aids. First, to get the attention of a person who is deaf or hard of hearing, tap the person on the shoulder or wave your hand. Look directly at the person and speak clearly. Second, not all people who are deaf or hard of hearing can read lit. For those who do read lit, be sensitive to their needs by placing yourself facing the light source and keeping hands, cigarettes, and food away from your mouth when speaking. And finally, let the person take the lead in establishing the communication mode, such as lip reading, sign language, or writing notes. And finally, if a person is blind or has a disability that seriously affects vision. First, when meeting a person with a visual impairment, always identify yourself and others who may be with you. When conversing in a group, remember to identify the person to whom you are speaking. Do not leave the person without excusing yourself first. Second, be precise and thorough when you describe individuals, places, or things to people who are totally blind. Feel free to use visually descriptive language. Making reference to colors, patterns, designs, and shapes is perfectly acceptable. Third, offer to guide people who are blind or visually impaired by asking if they would like assistance. It is not always necessary to provide guided assistance. In some instances, it can be disorienting and disruptive. Respect the desires of the person you are with. And finally, Never grab a person who is blind or visually impaired by the arm and push him or her forward. Allow him or her to take your arm, then walk slightly ahead. Hopefully, you now have an understanding of disability etiquette 
and a more comfortable way to interacting to people with disabilities. It's perfectly fine if you happen to use accepted common phrases like see you later or did you hear about this that seem to relate to the person's disability. Anyone can make mistakes. Just relax. Keep a sense of humor and a willingness to communicate. Treat a person with special needs with the same level of attention, respect, and dignity you'd show to other people. You might not get the response you expect. You might not get any response at all. But do it anyway and keep trying. Be patient and persistent and you and your special needs friend will feel a lot better. Thank you.